All right, radical expressions are these. Those are radicals. Rational exponents are these. Rational means fraction, fractional exponents. We're going to learn to change from fractional exponents, I'll call rational exponents, into radicals, which are roots. This right here is another way of writing this. We tend to not focus on this one very much. We don't. I don't see this, but it's kind of there because you can rewrite this like this. The key right here is this. This is just another way of writing this. Now, so what we're going to do here is we're going to change this, simplify, and rewrite in radical notation. So you're going to rewrite, change it from here to a radical. But before we do that, radical notation again is this. This piece, again, is your radical notation. Rational exponent notation is this piece. Okay, so that's rational exponent. That's your radical notation, just so you know. So we're going to change this into a radical. Now, the first step, could I simplify the fraction? Yeah. So my first step is, what's 4 over 6? Well, hopefully you understand that. 2 thirds. Now, the next step, if you look at this formula, it might be a little confusing, but here's how you basically change it into a radical. You leave the x inside. Now, you have a 2 and a 3. The root, which is the number right here, is going to be the bottom of the fraction. So the root, which is the number outside the square root, is the bottom of the fraction. Thus, the 2 stays inside. That's your answer. Now, here's my way of remembering that. You ready? Think of this as a tree, 2 thirds. Where are the roots of a tree? They're usually at the bottom. Got it? So the bottom are your roots, thus the bottom is what comes out as the root. The top stays with it. Now, what this is saying right here is I could rewrite this as this. So I can always rewrite this in another form. So sometimes, once in a great while, you will see an answer like this. Instead of having the squared inside, you could put parentheses and square the whole thing. These are both the same thing. This is not as common in my class. Okay, I prefer this, and you'll see this most of the time. All right, so for this one, we want to switch this one into a rational exponent. So I want to switch this one. So if I want to change this one, it's going to be x to the fractional power. Now the 4, remember the 4 is the root, and where are roots on a tree? They're on the bottom. So that's a 4 on the bottom of the fraction. And the 10 goes to the top. We are done, but we have to simplify fractions. Always simplify fractions. So my answer is x to the, when this reduces, it would be 5 over 2. So all we're doing is switching from radicals to rational exponents. It says right here, simplify and rewrite. The directions are saying. So, and then this one, we're just simply simplifying using our fractional powers and stuff. You'll see in a second. So these are rewriting. This one, well, watch how this works. 36, that is something either squared or cubed. Hopefully you know 36 is 6 squared. Now I'm going to take that to the negative 3 over 2 power. Now here's what you got to do. You can simplify this. Because what happens when you take a power to a power? Don't you multiply those? And when you multiply those, isn't that going to be 2 times negative 3 over 2? And we multiply in these two. And when you do that, do you understand this is 2 over 1? Got it? I'm multiplying this times this when you take a power to a power. Don't we cancel the twos right there? So isn't this going to equal negative 3? So really, isn't this 6 to the negative third power? Because right here, when you take the powers and multiply those, doesn't that reduce down to negative 3? We just showed you right here in red. So all of this is really 6 to the negative third. And what does a negative power do? Well, you have to think back to your power properties. Negative powers do this. And that 
could be an answer, but what is 6 to the third? Your final answer, well, 6 to the third is 6 times 6 times 6, which is 216. So this equals this. So if it ever says simplify, you most likely can mess with the number inside. Either find what squared or cube gave you that. And then you got to mess with the powers. you got to simplify the powers down and get an answer like this. That's what simplify means. And these two are just flip-flopping back and forth between the two.